So I found this new, very interactive Vim tutorial, and I will use this to teach you what Vim is about, and it's very easy to learn using this. And uh, Vim is very important for VLSA engineers because we do a lot of text processing and and we do a lot of editing in the text editor itself. And if you are familiar with Vim, a lot of in a lot of things you can become really efficient. Okay, so let's get started. As in the first thing, it's doing its pressing. You can see a blink here. And the blink helps you understand what is the next step you have to take. So I'll press enter. Okay. So Vim basically has two basic modes. One is insert mode. Insert mode is in which you write the text into the file like you do in a normal text editor. There's another mode known as normal mode in which you basically, there are commands, shortcuts, which you can use to manipulate and do other things. At any time, you can see which mode you are in on the status bar, which is at, located at the top of the editor. Here you see, like, for example, this is the normal mode. To change between the modes, you just press escape and the mode can be changed. And when you want to basically edit the text, you press I and you can enter and edit the text. So what I'm going to do now is press I. Now I can write it in the file. So let me write something in a file. So let's say VLSI deep file is great for VLSI engineer. So when I'm done writing, I just press escape, as you can see here. And you can see very it's it's very easy and interactive to learn, very easy to learn using this. Let's press enter. Now, typically in a text editor, uh, you can use, like if you are familiar with Windows, WordPad, you can use up down keys to move forward, backward, uh, or left or right. In Vim, you can also use H, J, K, and L to do the same things. So let's start with what H does. And you you also can do it to yourself while pressing it. So H moves forward. H moves backward. H actually moves backward. You can keep moving backwards. Then K is forward. And I and L. I typically use arrow keys, so I'm getting a little bit confused here. In, in GVIM, if you're not using VIM, but you're using GVIM, arrow keys also work. So if you're more comfortable with that, feel free to use that as well. So you can see it tells you which to press, and you then see what is happening on the key on the screen there. OK, now let's go to the next thing. Now, basically, uh, you can also use key shortcuts to navigate in terms of text. Like, for example, you can use W. You can use B and you can use E. W moves to the start of the next word. Okay, so for example, let's say if you are here, it will move to the start of the next word. E moves to the end of the word. So for example, let's say if you are here, E will move you to the end of the word. And B moves you to the beginning of the word. Okay, so let's say our cursor right now is here. So we'll press B. You see. Our cursor started from here, and now it moved here to the beginning of the word. We'll press B again, and we'll move to the beginning of the word again. Now we'll press W. What will W will? W will move you to the start of the next word. So it started here, and it came to here. Now I'll press B again. B will move to the beginning of the previous word. Okay. Now E, I'll press E. E will move you towards the end of the word. So our cursor is here. I press E and I move to the end of the word, which is E here. So w, then it moves to the end of the word. Press enter. Okay. So now let's move on. What thing is done? You can combine with numbers. Moving within the text is not limited to individual keys. Like you cannot. You cannot just move one by one. You let's say you want to move three words. You can press three and then W. So how do you do it? Plus three and then plus W. You'll move to the three words. So you started here M from your here. You moved next to the three word. First word, second word, third word, and you move to three word next. Now let's say press nine and then I say L. So it will move. 
next to nine letters. So you can use numbers also in front of your knee operations. Do it, do it that many times. Yes. Two and B. Okay. Two words backwards. Press enter. So this is what you can do with numbers. You can also insert text multiple times. And similarly, you can continue doing this whole operation. Okay. So for example, let's try to insert go three times. So what I'll do is press P, then press Y, and press G, O, and, pre and press escape. So what happened here is go pressed three times. So what did I do? I pressed three to insert, and then pressed insert, and then the letters I wanted to do, G and O, and then that caused it to enter three times. You can use F find and move to the next or the previous occurrence of a characters. So again, I have given you a start. You can continue learning this. You can see how interactive this is to learn from this. So continue learning this, Vim using this. We also have exercises at the end of the course. You can actually download the PDF of the exercises. There is a link also if you're running on working on Windows machine to run Vim directly on a web browser. You can see that from all our course as well. So happy learning and learn Vim. And you can also, of course, anytime reach out to us. Uh, our, our website has a WhatsApp button where you can also ask your doubts or, or any specific questions related to any of the courses you might have. Thank you for joining. Thank you.